Well, hey, we're at the Hudspeth County Sheriff's Office with Sheriff Arvin West, and Sheriff, Sheriff West has been a supporter of not just myself when I pursued a political aspiration, but even more so, he's a supporter of the Constitution and protecting his community, and I respect that. Uh, the tragedy in El Paso that occurred on August 3rd, Sheriff West allowed his, his off-duty officers that weren't in sector to respond and assist with first responders. And on behalf of El Paso and small business owners that we thank you. So our company is donating rifles um, approved by the U.S. Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Farms and Explosives. And these 10 rifles will be used as the sheriff deems necessary and appropriate for his sheriff's department in support of his officers protecting the community. So on behalf of Covenant Special Projects, thanks Sheriff West. We appreciate everything you do for your community. Tom, thank you. And, and I mean, this is a great asset for, for, the, for the office. And I'm sure the guys will use them wisely. And, and it's, it's something we've, we've needed. And we really appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you, Sheriff. Thank you for taking your time to speak with us today. Um, I wonder if you could briefly tell us about how long it was prior to the fence and the Texas Minutemen getting involved in this area? Prior to the fence, there was a lot more activity here, mostly in the drugs that came through the headquarters here. Now, as far as foot traffic, I think it's down everywhere from what I can see and tell. But uh, naturally, the little stretch fence they have here, they go around. Okay. Back in 2005, when the um, integration <coughs> started and the Texas Minutemen started coming out here, did you have any apprehensions about allowing them onto your property to patrol? Yes, personally, I was not in favor of it because I told them that if uh, they built a fence and didn't put somebody down there to watch it, the bad guys would tear up their fence. So if you got to have a work patrol down there anyway, what do you need a fence for? I noticed the property, the fence seems to stop towards the end of your property. Yes. Do you know if they claim to, how do you feel about that? Do they claim to finish that? Well, if they were going to put up a fence, I certainly wished it had gone past right at the end of our our farm here, but because uh, that funnels everything, <coughs> excuse me, right, right around it. I'd rather a fence be contiguous. <laughs> well, thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> they just opened fire on us from across the border. Sheriff Arvin West says there's a war going on just a few miles from his back door a place he calls Mayberry. I think she's good. He's warning residents to take up arms. I don't care what the rest of the country thinks. I could care less. My priority is my citizens in this county. Sheriff West says several Mexican towns in the Juarez Valley that runs along the border of Hudspeth County are now under siege by cartels who are trying to control smuggling routes into the U.S. They will protect that load of drugs at all costs. From U.S. Interstate 10, it's a quick dash to the border. In this high-speed pursuit, deputies chase SUVs packed with drugs. They're loading the dope. One gets stuck in the Rio Grande on the Mexican side. The drug haul is unloaded right in front of U.S. officials who can do nothing but watch. The sheriff says the cat and mouse chases to the border a few years ago were the good old days. Now entire towns have fallen to the cartels. And they've unleashed a campaign of terror where hundreds of families have been chased out of places like El Porvenir, their homes set on fire, and a much more grisly end for cartel enemies, some of whom have been beheaded and dismembered and left in plain view. See this little village right here? You see those houses, rooftops way over there? Yeah. I think that's Banderas. The drug cartels run them people off. Sheriff West showed us what he's up against. Hang on, because we're going to climb up. The locals call this Jurassic Park fence because it looks like it can keep dinosaurs out. But the sheriff calls it a joke. This is part of the international barrier between Chihuahua, Mexico, and Texas. It's a 13-foot tall steel gate. But take a look at what happens right here. It ends, and all you see are posts and some barbed wire. In the last two years, three chiefs of police have been murdered in the Juarez Valley. The sheriff says it'd be suicide if he crossed over the border. You have no law enforcement counterpart on that side. No, not anymore. The last one I had contact with, they cut his head off and put it in an ice chest. 
there has anybody stepped up to the plate since then. Sheriff West says there's only seven miles of fence along the border. 91 miles are wide open. Even though 300 extra Border Patrol agents have been sent here, he says a county road crew was recently shot at. <laughs> Farmer Joe Galvan's land runs right up to the border, and so does Gail Carr's. This is our home. This is our little piece of the American dream. You know, I'm third generation on this farm. Grow up here my whole childhood. I have memories of going back and forth to the little town on the other side of the river. But now they say they can hear and see evidence of the violence against innocent families for themselves. We could see the fires from here. I mean, Fort Renitas, you know, just, what is it, a mile from us here maybe? One night I sat on the balcony of my house and I listened. I counted to 120 and finally stopped. It wasn't like pop, pop, pop. It was pop, 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 pop. Carr says he worries about family and friends who were there and says the exodus from the towns continued. More than 2,500 Mexican troops have been sent into the Juarez Valley. Even so, we saw smoke billowing from a home burning right across the border. It's to the point to where I wonder why we're spending millions of dollars in Afghanistan when our next door neighbor is a fallen government, basically. Carr says he's not a vigilante and he doesn't believe in militias. That's my right. But says if the violence spills over, he and the farmers are ready to be the first line of defense. Thelma Gutierrez, CNN, Fort Hancock, Texas. Sierra Blanca, Hudspeth County Courthouse.
Yes. Just, just getting pictures. It's kind of funny. The the treasurer drives a a, a brand new charger. I oh mean, no, that's kinda... uh, that's the um, secretary. Oh, it's the uh, sign says treasurer in front of it. Oh yeah, she's the one right here. The one in the SUV. Huh. She's the treasurer. She's eighty something year old, and this one's a young one. She's <laughs> a young buck. Uh huh. And then right here's the right there where that white chick's at. That's the county uh, um, auditor. She's the auditor. So. And then the judge is over there. See where that plane's at in the front? Yeah, I saw the, the judge's yeah, parking judge. spot over there. Yeah. It's funny. It's funny you guys got them cut out of these little yeah. little metal things and stuff. You don't ever see that anymore. They everybody puts up like official signs. And yeah, stuff. and then this one right here, they just did it with a wood and put it together. So that's yeah. what it was. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of interesting. I, I go around a lot of, you know, historic courthouses oh, and stuff. Historical and, pictures, yeah. yeah. If yeah. you want to go, there's an old jail up there too in the courthouse upstairs. Over here? Yeah, there's an old jail up there at the very top. Oh, right I don't think they'll let me in. Can you go in with a gun? Uh, I'm wearing I'm wearing a pistol, so they may not. Yeah, you got your license. You got a license, right? Well, they, do they check it when you go in? No, no. I, I give the tours in there. Oh, you give the tours like, in there? If you have a license like me, I have my license with a gun. Yeah. I, your license, you're good. I don't have my wallet on. Well, that's cool. Hey, it's, hey, it's not that big. Well, that's cool. Yeah, you can go in there. Yeah. All right. I'll go over and take a look. Yeah. So, what do you do here? I'm records manager, officer coordinator for the judge. Oh, say that again. I'm a records manager, officer coordinator for the uh, judge. Uh huh. I take care of county records, case files, looking files, and take care of Well, they are not put me in jail here. <laughs> You're the one who handles that. So I, I don't understand. You know, I read an article in in a newspaper about what they were doing here because it's such a poor county is you right. know when they catch these guys over here at uh, sierra blanca at the yeah. border patrol they used from california yeah they, they i just talked to a lady out here yeah. a minute ago and that's what she was her and her boyfriend were coming from california and right. he's got a legal prescription in california yeah they don't they, recognize it here not here no yeah, that's why that's the reason the judge ferguson mm -hmm. he's the new district judge 394 uh-huh he's the one that says that so yeah. he says to go ahead and, and book them mm -hmm. yeah because they have to because i mean that's their it's out of california so yeah so it's, 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 See this right here? What's this? So it's the courthouse. This will be the, that's the trader's office right there. Uh huh. They want to do the checks and then next to the GPS office. So it's just for this. Now, how old is this courthouse? It's old. It's from 1819. Hold on, let me get a quick shot of this. 1819? 1819. Renovated in 2000. I got a hold of it. Okay, okay, go ahead. <laughs> We did uh it is backwards, but that's okay. Oh no no let's go here. So okay, I'll move I'll move over here. There you go. There we go. There you go. Yes, Marco. Yes, Mm-hmm. Yep, they still use them. This is where he sits up and then right here. You know what's it gives you the detail right here. 1882 to 1895, and then it tells you the years and whatever started 1882 to 1889. Man, your prisoners must not have anything to do. That's all they had time to do is. Yeah, I guess they. I guess they don't have grass to cut around here. Yeah. So. Oh, grass. They're cleaning stuff to be formed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? I, I would rather see them doing stuff like this. Yes. Than sitting around tattooing each other yeah. and. Yeah. Or fighting or yeah. yeah. And that's the fort. Oh, that's the fort. They have a baby, they have an infirmary in there, the nursing. I mean, they made up right there where you're at, to your right hand side. I have grass to cut around here. Yeah, so. I don't have grass and there's plenty of stuff to do for them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? I would rather see them doing stuff like this yes. than sitting Being around games. tattooing each other yeah, and getting her or, yeah, or fighting trouble. or, yeah. yeah. I'd rather come doing that. It's right, yeah. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And that's the fort. Oh, that's the fort. They have a baby. They have an infirmary in there. They're nursing. I mean, they meet up right there where you're at. Yeah. It's made by the company Dybolt Safe and Historics from Canton, Ohio. What year were the safes put in? Do you know? Uh, let me see. Um, I don't see there. But it has to be in that year that they put them in. For open area for inmates. Yeah, for the inmates. Yes. And they come over here and they talk to the bailiff. Sometimes they wouldn't have a guard watching them. So they have to leave. 
That's how short they were in them days. <laughs> so they stood here, watch them, they would do whatever there. But they can't escape because they couldn't reach nothing. Wow. Yep. And now this right here is the, this used to be the sheriff who passed away. This is the 18 minute thing would break the inmates, they would fix it. Yep. So, so good. And this guy, if you chase somebody, the Mustang, that's him right there on the horse. His name is Cassie, he's 104. He would chase the guys they couldn't catch, he would, he's got a best turn on. And then here's his badge, his little badge. Credit card for the Exxon for Gats, for the, for the sheriff. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's the real badge and everything. So, this is the husband coming here, here to the live mm -hmm. dressing room. Well, you had Snoop Dogg here because y'all arrested him out here at the point. Yeah, <laughs> yes, sir. I heard they got Snoop Dogg, they got uh, Willie Nelson. Willie Nelson. Have you, were you here yeah. when that was happening? Oh, yeah, right here, this is another one here. This is our little big room. Yeah. Uh, working elevator, have you seen this? It's a working elevator. Let me see. I got the key on so you can see the judge's courtroom. This is another courtroom? Uh, this is his uh, office. 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 He don't have much of an office, does he? Uh, yes, sir. Right here. Yes, sir. Uh huh. And the secretary sits here. The guy that's in there is Bob Dickinson. He's the EMC coordinator. And then Miss Kelly's the administrator. For yeah, I saw they had for emergency management. They had some vehicles parked out in the, yes, the back that were. In the back, yes, sir. Yeah, that were. I guess they're purchased from, yes, by Homeland Security or with yes, funds sir. from Homeland Security. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. And this is the only working out of here. And Made out of Adobe, the whole building with no foundation on it. That's why you see little cracks here and there. Uh huh. It's the only one without no foundation in it. Wow. Yeah. And it is hot up there too. Oh yeah. Is that on the west side of the building? Uh, right here. This is off the office, the tech office. The heater runs all this right here in the corridor right here. Uh, yeah. That's the elevator. We got a working AED. Right, thanks for there. We well, let's hope we don't need that. Thank you, Sister Sam. That's it right here. All right. Yeah, it's, that's some. It's interesting. I mean, you know, I love going around these old courthouses yeah. and stuff. We got these new AC, the heaters now. We got them new, Bernie. Mm hmm. Uh, we got everything new here. We got over here the heaters, everything. It's, it's, yes, sir. You know, there's so much history out here. People mm -hmm. don't get to see it. You know. Yes, sir. Um, while we were in there with that one, all this kind of area I showed you, right? Yeah. Um, did you check this one out? This is the park. I don't know if it's over the party bench. Yeah. Just don't look this. Um, this is the district court right here. Hi, hey. More bank vaults. Yes, sir. And uh, we just put the lights up and everything else. So. Oh, the vault is going to the wall. Yeah. And it's just county records. Yes, we keep everything. I mean, minutes, divorce, everything in there. Cool. Mm -hmm. And that's the corner for the judge when he sits with the virginia. Oh, here's the last. I just don't. Yeah, don't. Let's, let's lock that guy in there. Go ahead. I'm just gonna share just a little bit so you can take a picture with me, right? I don't like you. Lunch? I know. I don't like you, sir. Trust me. I don't like you. Yes, sir. Hold on. Did you get close all the way while I was inside? Yeah, yeah, no. Get her. Get him. Give me a shot. And it's got a combo and everything, so. Well, and that one again, it's got. Yeah. A decal down there at the bottom. Yeah. Cleveland. Cleveland. Something. Yeah, the black guy is in the work. He will train you. Tour racing they used to do for the Buffalo Soldiers. Mm -hmm. Right there. We did the race and they, they stopped it doing it here. And that's the new sheriff right there, Arvin West, across the street. He's the new sheriff.